And my mom, she was, oh, there you go, aftershock. Right there, baby. Well, a lot of aftershocks not helping people in California recover from last week's powerful earthquakes. Cleanup could take days or even weeks, and some people are even sleeping outside over concerns of another major earthquake. We know many of you have questions about your safety in the event of an earthquake here in Spokane. Crem Do Shana Waltower dug into the issue and found answers to some of your most common questions. Yeah, California's recent earthquakes have many of you wondering how safe it would be if an earthquake hit the inland northwest. How big would the earthquake be? What can you do to prepare? I found the answers to some of these biggest questions that many of you have been asking. Question number one, how likely is Spokane to have an earthquake? Well, Spokane has a pattern of earthquakes occurring about every 20 to 25 years. Looking at the area's history, the last large earthquake event in Spokane was in 2001, when dozens of earthquakes shook the area in the span of just about a year. The biggest quake that happened then had a 4.0 magnitude. Now, since then, we've had earthquakes, but they've been much smaller. The likelihood of bigger earthquakes in Spokane is low, but experts say it can't be ruled out. Question number two, how prepared is Spokane for an earthquake? Chandra Fox with Greater Spokane Emergency Management says their department is responsible for educating agencies around Spokane County about recommended standards for buildings as well as individual safety. She says building codes since the 1980s have structural emphasis for earthquakes so that they're more likely to withstand severe earthquakes than homes built before then. For people, though, she says most are largely unprepared because earthquakes happen infrequently in Spokane. She says many don't plan for the possibility. Question number three, what can I do to stay safe in case there is an earthquake here? The main goal is to be ready before it comes. Make sure you have emergency contacts, including someone who doesn't live in the same area that you do. And stock up on food and water. The emergency management department recommends having about a week to 10 days worth of food for each person in your home. So it's just best to prepare now so you're ready just in case. Shana Waltower, Creme 2 News.